Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Skyrim. So today we are going to be in a custom quest mod called Moon and Star. And I do believe we just have to wait for a courier to show up when we travel to an outside area. So he should be along eventually. Oh, there you are. Good timing. Hey, buddy. How's it going? But see, anyway, just in case anyone was wondering, this is not going to affect the Oblivion series in any way, shape, or form. And if you like Skyrim, you go check out my Oblivion series. Shameless self-promotion. Okay, I suppose we should probably talk to this scumbag, because he's just standing here staring at me very creepily. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see. Looks like that's it. Got to go. God damn it, Brittany. Get your giant horse hand out of the way of the courier. It's just rude. Okay, I assume it's to the Dragonborn. Yes. I hope this letter finds you well, for Morrowind and the Great House Halalalala are all in need of your strength. A grave threat from the homeland of Morrowind, from my homeland of Morrowind, is my great discrime. And though I nip at its heels, I fear that I cannot bring it down alone. Please, if you care at all for this land and her people, meet me at the Sleeping Giant Inn in Riverwood as soon as you can. Mandian Halalalala. I really suck at names, like really badly. And how convenient, we're already in Riverwood. I didn't actually know that was going to be the case, but there you go. But so yeah, apparently if you don't get the courier show up, they said to go to the Sleeping Giant in Riverwood, so... Who is this dude panning down over here? Oh, it's uh, the courier that kept attacking me, because apparently I haven't done Dragonborn on this file. Long freaking story. Anyway, <laughs> let's find out who the hell we're talking to here. Probably the dude with a giant this arrow. Is an ode to Wait, what? Staunch protectors. Oh, it's Finn. Piss off, Finn, I'm busy. Can I help you? I don't know, can you? Who the hell are you? I'm Mandin Hlalu, representative of the Great House Hlalu of Morrowind. I'm here in Skyrim on urgent business. Yeah, so urgent you had time to stop and get drunk in a bar. Anyway, Jesus! Don't do that, Sven! Anything I can help with? I doubt it, but thank you for the offer. The kind of help I need. I need someone with power beyond measure. Well, ain't that convenient. I'm the Dragonborn, baby! That it would. In fact, I've been trying to get in touch with you. It seems my letters never found their mark. Couriers these days. Back to business. As neighbors, Skyrim and Morrowind share more than a border. Our fates are intertwined. We must look out for one another. As such, when a famous criminal from Morrowind was spotted in Skyrim, I was dispatched by House Hlalu to find him. However, he is too deadly for me to face alone. I need a hero's help. Sven, do you think you could piss off? Anyway, if it's a matter of justice, then I will gladly help. Excellent. You are as noble as they say. Nonetheless, I would feel guilty without rewarding such valor. Five hundred septums awaits you, if you succeed. I tracked the criminal to a village southwest of here called Little Vivek. But after that, the trail went cold. However, you may have better luck. Yeah, probably. I am the main character after all. Anyway, do you have any more information about the criminal? Not only is he a fearsome combatant, but he is silver-tongued. If he begs for his life, do not believe a word he says. How little you know me, sir. I have never shown mercy, not even once. I better get started, I guess. Wait, before you go, take this ring. The criminal is known to wield enchanted blades, and this may protect you from them. Happy hunting, Dragonborn. And many thanks. You are doing both Morrowind and Skyrim a great service. It's true, murdering one scumbag at a time, and I... Why is there a naked man clapping? The hell are you doing? Okay, whatever. Anyway, but, uh, yeah, I can't believe Sven played all three instruments just then during that. In my freaking face. What a moron. And Jizanga's apparently stealing horses. That's my boy, he's learning quick. Why, why can I not get on Brittany? Oh, there we go. That was... Whoa! That was weird. We got uh, the camera right up Britney's butt then. Anyhow, before I forget, let's check this ring very quickly. I assume it's this. Fire resistance. What? He was talking about blades. Why is it fire resistance? I don't think it's any of the other rings I have. Well, whatever. Anyway, I suppose we should probably check where the hell we're going, because right now, I ain't got a goddamn clue. Okay, so it's out there in the middle of the lake, and we, uh, okay, it's not that far. You know the drill by now, I'm sure. If something happens along the way, I'll show you, otherwise I'll just see you when we arrive. Okay, we are just about there. At the cross, oh my god, that was such a pain in the dick. 
And whilst Jizango and Dover Bear are somewhere along the way, but I'm sure they will show up eventually, as they always do, far too late to actually do anything, but that's why we love them. Why is there a dog in a... What the hell are you doing? Why are you floating? Stop it. That's a bad dog. Okay, that was strange. Who are you? Hello. Hey, kid. Where the hell are your parents? I don't see any nords around here. And no, I don't want to snatch you. Well, my old parents went away. They said they were going to join the storm guys, but they didn't come back. So I went looking for them. I got lost. But then I found Celise. And she said she liked my mom now. And she's real, real nice. So I guess my parent is in the shop over there. I know you're a kid, but could you talk much quieter? Holy shit. And what are you doing? Me and Meat are playing Apocadips. Apocadips? See, the whole world was Apocadips by giant mushroom people. And now me and Meat have to save the world by finding the three dogs. I know you're a kid, but that story makes no damn sense whatsoever. Can I play? Yeah! Just find my three stuffed dogs and give them to me, and then we can stop the Apocadips. It's Apocalypse, you little brats. Learn to pronounce things. It's not cute. God damn it! Get out of the way! If it's not Dover Bear, it's a random dog. It's not cute when kids can't pronounce things. Hey, baby. Who are you? Well, hello there. What can I do for you today? Well, you can start by inviting me in. No, I'm kidding. Uh, has anyone passed through the village lately? Oh, of course. We get visitors every now and then. You should ask my husband if you're looking for someone. He just adores talking to visitors. Lady, your husband sounds like a real weirdo. And frankly, so are you. Get out of my sights. Okay, so... Wait, what? Why is there a map marker over here? Hello? Is there anything down here? No. So, what are we looking for here? Uh, pick up the trail of the criminal. Okay, so I'm guessing we just gotta, you know, walk around, try and find... Oh god, that was weird. Just gotta walk around, find some kind of a clue, like maybe talk to the NPCs until someone gives us some information, like maybe you? Something you need, traveler. I had lots of things, but we ain't got time for that shit. Have you seen anyone strange around here besides me? Yes, though few of note. And no, Jizango and Dover Band don't count either. Okay, who were these men of note? A curious question. More curious from a stranger. Yeah, so? Really, you're not gonna tell me anything? I'm guessing we gotta do him a favor. Ugh, what a dick. Anyway, who the hell are you? I am called Balran. I hunt and fish for the village. You sound absolutely enthralled by that. Do you need a favor? Need? No. Desire, perhaps, if you think yourself a warrior. Bro, I'm the Dragonborn. A group of bandits has been plaguing the woods nearby for weeks, sniffing for weakness. I made sure they found only arrows, yet still they linger. I cannot leave the village and hunt them if they are watching, but you could in my place. Yeah, I could, but I need some freaking information. Exactly. I need incentive. Lady Solis is the merchant. I am a warrior. I do not negotiate. We do not negotiate with terrorists. That was the worst impression of all time. Very well, I accept. Good. You have my thanks. I'll mark their last known location on your map. The leader wears an orcish helm. Bring it to me as proof. I will know if it is his. You hoo hoo hoo! Well, la di da! Oh, guys, go kill the freaking bandit leader, I guess, but I should probably check where the hell he is first of all. It's gonna be in the side quest, isn't it? Now I've gotta remember how to. Yep, no, that was wrong. I've gotta remember how to navigate the goddamn menu. Is there anything good here for us to take? I don't think that book's custom, but who knows? The bed is only. I, I unlock, unlocking that shit. Screw that, quite frankly. There's probably just fish in there anyway. Right, so, uh, how do I do this? There we go. And it's over yonder. Well, you know the drill. I will see you when we get there unless some shit goes down. Okay. We found the camp. I don't know why I'm whispering. It seems it seems more dramatic that way. And more real, god it's still real to me, goddammit. Why is this guy dead? Well, it's a bandit, alright. Was it like a fire or something? This guy looks like he's supposed to be dead, like it's part of the quest, like he didn't die randomly, and apparently... Bandit leader buddy is dead as well. Well, you don't mind if I take your helmet, do you? No, you don't. Give me that shit. Right, anything else we want here? No, not really. Okay, well, we got a cell. Don't know why they're dead. I'm sure there's some kind of storyline explanation for that. But yeah, it's kind of a cool twist. I was expecting just to have to come here and wipe out a couple of bandits. But it's nice when, you know, mob makers mix it up. Because let's be honest here, Bethesda don't. Well, most of the time. Anyway, I got my freaking potion. I suppose we should probably check the tents and shit on the other side of the river just in case there's something over there that might, you know, explain what happened here. Or, you know, some amazing booty. There's a there's a burned body. I don't know how he got burned, but bless him, he's been burned. 
Uh, don't really want that shit. What have you got? Nothing in particular, but I will most certainly take the lockpick. There's some more junk in here. Is there a potion? There's always a potion in a knapsack. Good freaking times. There's a random spell tome. Okay, anything in the chest? Yes, there is. Nothing special, but we'll take it anyway. Anything in here? Yes. Don't really want that shit, but again, we'll take the gold anyway. I'm guessing that's about it. So, let's get the balls out of here. Dover bear. Oh my god. Move your ass. I'm pretty sure he's fighting something over there. Don't worry, buddy. I'm coming to save you. What the hell are you fighting? I thought it was that dog for a second. I thought it was like mauling the kid's dog. Hello. I got to... Uh... need, traveler. Hey, stand still when I'm talking to you, you son of a bitch. Oh my god. Okay. Here's the bandit leader's helm, but they were all dead when I arrived. This is indeed the helm. It carries the dent I gave it. And he was already slain. Curious. Could it have been him? Could have been who? What? Oh, let's go with... You know something. Spit it out. I... may, but... No. You tried to do our village a service. You have a right to know. Goddamn right. A warrior passed through here, wearing armor from Morrowind. A powerful man, and honorable. We discussed much. I mentioned the bandits to him, but I did not ask his aid. He must have offered it anyway. Those poor fools. They never would have stood a chance. The oh, thing I'm looking for is the one that killed them. Interesting. I knew you knew something. Tell me where he is. No. Do not test my patience, traveler. Or I may reconsider. He said he was seeking a Dwemer ruin. A place called Kagranar. I cannot say more. I am sorry. You suck. Oh, we got a map marker, apparently. Cool! I suppose it'll do. You are welcome. I do not know why you seek him. But if you find him, I urge you, think before you act. <laughs> <laughs> Me. Think before I act. Of course I'm going to. Would I ever do something on a whim? Yes, yes I would. Apparently it's over there. Okay. Well, you know the drill by now. I will see you there. Okay, I do believe it should just be up this hill over yonder, or staircase. You know what I mean, staircase, hill, it's the same damn thing. It's a staircase on a hill, so technically I was still right. Kind of. Hopefully Jazago and Dover Bear actually make it through this goddamn load screen. I see Dover Bear's fat ass, and Jazago's with me. Fantastic. Yeah, I should probably mention that, yes, uh, Jazago is wearing the Artorias armor from Dark Souls, and I'm wearing Ornsteins. There seems to be a whole lot of dead shit here. And there's the heart of the something. We'll take that, because we're probably going to need it, let's be honest, but, uh, yeah, I can't remember the name of the mod, it's not on the Nexus, and it's certainly not on the, uh, the Steam Workshop. Almost forgot the word there. These look unique, so we're going to take them. But yeah, anyway, so, uh, it's from a website called Lover's Lamp, which, as I understand, is usually like, uh, you know, let's say adult-themed mods. This one, obviously, is not, but, uh, yeah, it's got, like, so many different sets of armor and weapons, it's got, like, Karens and Gwyns and, you know, Tons of them. Soul is. So yeah, I will link in the video description along with every single mod I'm using. And of course, despite me saying that, I will still get a million questions. But that's okay, goddammit. It's okay. But yeah, the uh, Dark Souls armor mod, really cool. Just be aware if you do download it, a lot of them, not, well, probably about half of them, don't seem to work with, like, uh, beast races. You know, orcs, catman, stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, with every human race, it seems to be fine, and I think Karen's gear is female only, so... Again, just be aware, whatever the hell you're downloading, they might or not all work with your character. In fact, I don't think there's any possible way for every single one of them to work with your character, so... Yeah, don't say I didn't warn you. Right, so what's going on with this? The first answer... Right... It looks open. That's, that's trippy as balls. And the first question... Okay, so this seems to be a riddle or something, and I'm gonna guess it's gonna open this door. It kind of looks that way, doesn't it? There's a lot of freaking junk in this room. I, I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to take some of it. We need it, master. We need it. Don't over there, move your fat ass and try to loot shit. What's that? Dwarven marriage pendant. Interesting. I wonder if they actually do anything like maybe you can propose to people like with the amulet of Stendo or something. Or maybe it's just, you know, a randomly custom named amulet. I really have no idea whatsoever, but we got to take all of this shit because... We're probably either going to need it, or frankly, I just want it, because I like collecting stuff. 
And this is most definitely custom. I don't know what the hell that is. It looks like a badass sword, so hopefully we get that at some points. But yeah, there is... There's a lot of junk around here. Like a lot of junk. I get this feeling that it's probably going to be one of those mods that just gives you tons of free stuff. Luckily my character is, you know, extremely high level, so this is not going to imbalance the game for me, so... It really doesn't matter. There's, there's stuffs everywhere. Steves? Stuffs? Whatever the hell you want to call them. My god, there's even more. Holy shit. Is there anything we actually need around? I don't think so. Screw it, let's go check out the book. Hopefully it's not incredibly long. The book has but a single page, and its text is in ancient Dwemer. You cannot read it, but someone has scribbled a rough translation in the margins. Powerful magic given form two souls it binds with an ancient force. Powerful magic given form two souls it binds with an ancient force. Okay. Think, brain, think. What the hell is it talking about? I'm getting the feeling we're supposed to put something in this chest, because that's the answer. So this is probably why the room's full of random crap. I'm assuming it's going to be one of the spell tomes, because it mentioned powerful magic. How else can we put a spell in there? And I'm trying to think which one fits the description the most. Maybe healing hands, because it did say two, two souls or whatever. And healing hands is like something you cast on someone else. You, you see the connection there? It's like you and them are together as two souls. So. We're gonna go with that shit, and if I'm wrong, then frankly, I have no freaking idea, because no- Oh god! Did I get it wrong? Well, the door's not open. <laughs> I guess I screwed it up. Okay, so I'm guessing when you screw it up, you probably get like a wave of monsters. No, oh, by the way, this is uh, another custom sword I have. The one on the right's called the Hell Sword, and the one on the left's called the... You know, I'll be honest with you, I can't remember what the hell it's called. I think it's like the Punisher or something like that? I don't think it's the Punisher, though. It begins with P. I don't remember, but, you know, we'll check next time we go in the inventory, but, uh, yeah. They do not normally flame like this. That's called enchantments. Oh, I don't remember. It's some kind of enchantment overhaul. Again, every mod's li linked in the video description. Right, so anyway, it looks like we completely screwed that the hell up, so... What do we do now? Well, the tome's still in... Wait, the door's open. Really? So did I get it right, or do you... See, here's my thinking. Maybe I got it right. Or maybe when you screw it up, you just have to fight monsters, but it opens the door anyway. I really don't know. Oh, shit. I see the Dwarven Dwemer Tinkerer thingies. Those dudes are really dangerous. But I kind of want to show the combat with them, so we're just going to run in and start sneak attacking them, but this may very well end in my demise. Oh. Hey, buddy. You, uh, you have a crossbow there, which scares the crap out of me. But yeah, I believe these are part of the Immersive Creatures mod. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. I don't have the latest version, so there might be some new stuff that's been changed or whatever else, but... Uh, yeah, it's, it's a weird mod to update, like, if you have an existing file, you're supposed to not really update it until you set a, start a new file, you know, like a new game, and blah blah blah, because there's all sorts of spawning issues and shit, so... Yeah, it's kind of a complicated mod, but it's really cool nonetheless, and this dude is killing me, holy shit! Save me, Dover Bear! Okay, I'm gonna run away. Okay, we're fine. <laughs> this dude has a lot of HP! My good lord! Sir, I'm gonna have to ask that you die now, sir. Thank you. Good lord, okay, don't get hit by Dover Bear. Yeah. Okay, so there's like a hammer up there. I wonder if that's actually got any relevance whatsoever, because... The last one didn't seem to, it was like a sword, but... I don't know. Maybe there's something there I'm not getting. Yeah, give me that booty. Okay, is this a different guy? No, it's the same one. The hell are you doing over there, buddy? Okay, let's check out the second riddle and see what the hell is going on here. The mightiest weapon in all creation. With it, mortals become gods, but only it can slay time. What? The mightiest weapon in all creation. With it, mortals can become gods, for only it can slay time. Okay, so something that surpasses time. Well, right now I have no friggin' idea, but let's check the room and I'm sure we will find something that fits it. Armor? I guess theoretically armor can, you know, last longer than the dude that made it, but that's probably not what they're talking about. A forge? It's kind of the same thing. Paper? Ah! Uh, I bet it's either a book or a quill. It's basically something to make like, uh, you know, writing. So, maybe both of them work? I don't really know. Let's check around the room just to make sure there's nothing else here that fits the criteria more, but... Arrows? No, probably not. But, uh, yeah, I really think it's gonna be either the quill or the book, because if you write, you surpass time. Your books can go on forever, a long time after you live. You know, like, not necessarily forever, but, you know, as long as it doesn't get lost or something. And apparently we can take these. So we're going to, because I like loading shits. Right, yeah, okay, we checked everything. I think it's gonna be the quill or the book. I guess I'm gonna go with the quill, because that's what you write with, as opposed to the book being the thing that you've written. I don't really know. Maybe they both work. Like I say, you don't really know. Where the hell is this shit? Oh, there you are. God damn it. Oh, 
Okay. Well, the door opened. And I don't see any monsters. Okay, well, we got it right, apparently. At least I think so. Does that mean I screwed up the first one because we got attacked? I don't know. Anyway, I am going to end it here next time we will carry on. I am really enjoying this so far. Really good voice acting, and the dungeon is kind of cool. Instead of just being, you know, waves of monsters after monsters, and some custom shit here and puzzles and stuff. I like this. Very good so far. Anyway, I'm going to end it here. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, the best way to show your support is by clicking on the like button. It really helps to promote the video, and it shows me you're enjoying the series. Once again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.